Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get right to your top stories this morning. Brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The city of Las Vegas versus a developer. Their battle over the old Badlands golf course continues. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more on how this could impact taxpayers. Jen? Well, Renee, if a resolution isn't reached, city leaders say taxpayers could be on the hook for hundreds of millions of dollars. Back in 2017, developer EHB Company sued the city of Las Vegas. And last week, a Clark County judge sided with the developer, determining the city took 35 acres of the former Badlands golf course by making it impossible to develop. On Wednesday, the Las Vegas City Council voted to appeal the court's decision to the state Supreme Court. City officials have said that the developer has indicated no interest in wanting to settle this expensive ongoing legal dispute. According to the city's data, Las Vegas taxpayers have already paid more than $4 million in expenses on the Badlands litigation. Renee. Thank you, Jen. In other news, Steve Sisolak and his fellow governors are pitching the benefits of solar and other types of clean energy. Sisolak was one of four Democratic governors who took part in a panel discussion on climate with U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm. The governor said the state is moving forward on geothermal energy. It also has the largest deposits of lithium needed for batteries, and it is investing in transmission lines. Sisolak said, quote, Nevada leads the nation in terms of solar production. He also said researchers at UNLV are working on ways to capture energy that otherwise would be lost. And State Senator Pat Spearman announces she hopes to be North Las Vegas's mayor in 2022. Currently, she is in her third and final term as a senator. Also running for North Las Vegas Councilwoman Pamela Goynes brown and Nevada System of Higher Education Regent Laura Perkins. If any of these three are elected, they would make history as the city's first black mayor. And a Las Vegas police captain will be the new chief of the Maui Police Department. Captain John Pelletier is a 22-year veteran of the Metro Police Department. Friday, he told the commission he's bringing his experience in tourist and community-based policing coming from Las Vegas. The Maui County Mayor's statement was shared on Facebook saying, quote, We look forward to welcoming him to Maui County from the Ninth Island of Las Vegas. And volunteers from the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians helped pack bags at Three Square Food Bank. It was for the Backpack for Kids program, which provides food to children on weekends and breaks from school who would otherwise go hungry. The group also donated $100,000 to Three Square. And we have the beauty of having hosting the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians from California. And uh, they are new in our community, new investors and new corporate partners. So we're thrilled to have them here. In your health news, sponsored by Forum Dental Love Your Smile, again, a new front in Clark County's battle against COVID-19. The county plans to use funding from the Federal American Rescue Plan to build at least one center to treat COVID patients. The county also approved a plan to spend up to $100,000 on prepaid gift cards for those who get vaccinated. Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. We're looking at a hazy afternoon and partly sunny skies for your Thursday forecast. Highs topping 86 degrees. Tonight, cloudy skies, lows sitting around 70 degrees. For the rest of the week, a 50% chance of rain for parts of the valley on Friday and wind gusts could top 25 miles per hour. Then a cool down starting this weekend, 75 degrees by Saturday. Chilly for your evening lows, 57 degrees. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. The Aces took a 93-76 victory over the Phoenix Mercury Wednesday, tying the WNBA semifinals at two games apiece and forcing a Game 5 this Friday at Michelob Ultra Arena. The Aces went on a 24-0 run in the third quarter to seize control of the game. Chelsea Gray scored a game-high 22 points. Kelsey Plum scored 20, and Raquana Williams had 17. 
Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Rams are two and a half point road favorites and minus 140 on the money line at the Westgate Superbook for today's game against the Seahawks that kicks off week five in the NFL. The total is 54 and a half. The Rams are coming off of their first loss of the season to the Cardinals, while the Seahawks upset the 49ers on Sunday. The Rams are plus 180 to win the NFC West, and the Seahawks are plus 425, with both trailing the Cardinals at plus 140. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, construction is underway on a new apartment complex in the Southern Las Vegas Valley. An Atlanta developer is building the Alta Southern Highlands project off Southern Highlands and St. Rose Parkway near the M Resorts in Henderson. The complex has more than 220 units and is scheduled to open early next year. The developer says it will have what it calls next level finishes, including a game lawn and a fitness center with yoga studios. In your lifestyle news, the next billboard you see may be a real work of art. Take a look at these. Meow Wolf Las Vegas and the nonprofit Save Art Space have teamed up to display original works of art on billboards across the Las Vegas Valley. Ten artists based here in Nevada participated in the project, including Joseph Watson, Joshua Levin, and Jim Jacks. Their works are based on the themes of pathways and portals. Save Art Space was founded in 2015, and since then, it has posted over 600 billboards with local art in more than 30 cities across America. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, could another Grammy-winning musician be planning a residency here in Las Vegas? For the latest, we go to Review Journal columnist John Katzlamidis. Adele's next single is going to be called Easy On Me, and it's going to be released on October 15th. The superstar has announced that herself. There has been some hinting around the world and across the country that the next album will be called 30. What we're tracking now are rumors and unconfirmed reports of her residency, possibly at Park Theater, at Park MGM, and the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Her reps have talked to MGM Resorts International people. That much we know, but we're tracking this on a daily basis. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. And if you're watching 7 at 7 on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.